Good morning, YouTube. This week, we're working on the ceiling. We're putting on some more double bubble. We have a fire. <laughs> I don't know. Crazy stuff is happening. Stay tuned, like always. It's going to be a good episode. Stick with me. Welcome to my life. Good morning, YouTube. Burr. It's uh, it's cold this morning, man. Ooh, uh, the guys haven't showed up yet. Uh, yeah, this pad's coming out really nice. It's uh, drying out nice now. It's getting to be almost all white. Beautiful. That's gonna work out really well, I think. But uh, yeah, we got a, quite a bit of roof done last night. We worked until the dark, you know, into the dark. We'll put lights in here. And got her done. Oh, it's coming out really nice. I mean really nice so it's kind of got an echo in here now too it's kind of weird i hear an echo 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 <laughs> um so yeah so we worked on uh, this till late last night i ran and got the last of the metal hopefully uh so we should be have everything here on the ground um so they're supposed to roll in this morning uh i think they're gonna do the z the j channel all the way around uh the building uh, i think one of their guys has an appointment this morning so I think that's what they're going to work on first thing and then they'll come in and get the rest of this up uh i don't know how far we'll get today hopefully we finish this out and at least get you know three quarter or halfway across the top of the building we'll see how that works out we'll see how that works out but it's coming along good i mean it's it's gonna look really neat in here when this is done just watching them struggle i mean the three guys one on the ladder two on here me lifting up to them so really four guys but uh just watch them struggle trying to get that up there there's no way this is something the wife and i could do i mean these are 25 foot sheets basically um so they're huge i mean they're huge and and there's a couple times that they're really just struggling 
you know, and they're using the lift to, to hold it while they're adjusting or whatever, but um, it, these are long. So, um, so glad I'm having them do it. It's coming out really neat. And uh, yeah, really changes the look of the place, huh? I, I do, I ain't gonna lie to you. I do like to see all the after work. I mean, that's just beautiful up there. Um, and I can appreciate the work that they did. My little adjustable plug, plug mounts uh, worked really well. Um, so you can adjust that to the side to side to keep those off rid uh, plugs off the ridges. Um, it's uh, that, that's kind of been pretty neat to watch. Um, I'm glad I did that because uh, when they're up there, the last thing they want to do is jack around with boxes, and uh, I think that makes it a little bit easier for them. Probably not 100% easy, but it makes it a little bit easier for them. So, yeah. So I think we got uh, what one, two, three, four, five, four or five sheets left up there. I don't know how far that is. You figure that's six. And five is 11, so 12 feet left. So there's four more sheets to go there. And that might come out just about right. Um, but we'll see. Yep. And uh, then we got the other side to do. Hopefully there's enough uh, sheeting because uh, they did have one bad cut and they took this down. Uh, hopefully, you know, maybe, we'll, maybe the wall will be that short and we'll put it against the wall or something. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. It sucks, but it is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. All right. Well, until they get here, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay warm and I don't know what I'm going to do. I did buy tarps for the three big doors so they can block those off. Once the roof's in, try to block some of this off. And I had, didn't find tarps to fit the small doors yet. Um, these doors were probably going to be long-term tarps because, um, now that because they don't have the uh, doors in yet this door is in um you know just big supply chain issues right now uh, but that door's in so as soon as they finish the ceiling and then wrap those doors i'll call the garage door guy and get that installed and uh maybe i'll get that done before christmas <laughs> we'll see i like to have a door on this side because this is the weather side man everything everything just blasts this side of the building so if we can get this walled in and get this door on um, I think that'd be good. I mean, they got the soften up already. So just get this weather side weathered in. And then we can just work from there on around. Got a guy supposed to come today, I heard. So we'll see what he has to say. Um, yep. That'll be an interesting conversation just to see what, what it'll cost. I'm, asking, I'm probably going to ask for a lot of downspouts. I want four downspouts on each side. And then plus the the ones up front so we'll see how that comes out other than that i think that's all i have to report other than it's freezing and i i'm gonna go inside and sit in the garage until they get here because <laughs> don't say it's exposing myself to this i do see some trash out there i need to go pick up and keep that under control but yeah all right well until they show see you in a bit YouTube hey the guys have gone and uh lunch time I'm gonna run in and get me a bite to eat here in a second but we got the uh half the roof done or half the ceiling done so it looks really good we, we struggled with a couple pieces there on the end but we got them in um guys are doing a great job it looks awesome I mean really it does look great so, yep so about half it's in it's kind of neat looking you know I again I think it's sad to cover up some of that wood because we did such a wonderful job on, on that and we're covering it up but uh man it looks so much more finished and that just really looks nice really looks nice it, it kind of gives you a, the size of the building too as you look at it like that um, i don't know why i guess just flat flat roof i don't know but it's definitely beautiful it's kind of coming together so yeah we're going to start on this uh, wall down here and work our way this way hopefully we get about three quarters of the way done at least you know we'll see um we're getting there for sure um yeah, get some bubble wrap on this wall and uh, that'll block a lot of the air from coming in. Of course, I bought tarps for the horse. I don't know why I said of course, but I bought tarps for the three big doors. Couldn't find any small ones. I didn't want to overpay for the big ones and then cut them up. So um, I'll get a tarp on these doors 
or it's eventually just stop this wind flow wind flow just flows right through here so it makes it cold but anyway it's coming along you guys are doing great and i'll see you guys after lunch Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's a frosty morning. Jeff's in town. He's trying to run. He saw me getting the camera ready. But Jeff's visiting. And uh, yeah, the camp roofs, they did good yesterday. We got the rest of this side done. And then we got a three quarter of the other side done. So this morning, hopefully, we'll get this finished off. And we'll start on the back of the back of the building, hopefully. Uh, I'd like to do the back while we still have the lift. Um, we'll see. They were like, oh, we can do it with ladders. And I was like, I don't know. Um, I think I've said on camera that it's 36 feet to the top. It is not. It's 28 feet. Uh, one of the guys said that, and I guess I just carried it. Um, but it's 28 feet to the top plus a couple feet. So this is about 30 feet. It's up there. So it's a long way. It's a long way to be humping metal without a lift. So hopefully this morning they get the inside done. We'll get this bubble wrapped out and start getting the bigger sheets on the way down. Once we get past the center, I really don't care, but hopefully we can get that done i get this lift back but uh other than that uh i'm just waiting on him to get here the gutter guy came yesterday so we'll see what his quote is and uh it's really all the updates i have i mean we're just continuing on the ceiling so i don't know hopefully it's a good day i know it's cold <laughs> frosty everything's frosted everything's frosted over Brr. all right see you in a second So we're getting the last couple pieces. It's looking good. I only had a smashed hand, a cut finger. <laughs> Everybody survived though. Are the boxes lined up? Okay. Like it? Yeah. Can you push up more? Is that all? Yeah, I love it. Just hold it there for a second. Good? Oh, I'll watch that, yeah. Okay, yeah. Are you tight? Why, you need to come to me? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to hear it. No, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, she can slide now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I gotta do something. Now try it. Toward the. Okay. All right, YouTube, they're putting in the final piece. Go away. Back it up. Next floor. My way. In. Okay. Come together, right?
Oh, man. Yeah, yeah I'm like, thanks. Oh, can we get a screw in it somehow? Huh? Hang on, Jared. I'll go up. All right. <laughs> but then you gave me a gun. <laughs> it's on film. <laughs> I can give you the I can give you the exact seconds that were in between you saying it and the <laughs> I ain't got time for you guys to catch up. <laughs> YouTube, it's a good day. The ceiling is in. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. That's pretty good. We put a manhole here. I'll have to build something in here later, but you know, access for for a ladder. So that'll be pretty neat. Glad that's in there. But yeah, it came out really nice. I mean, I really love the ceiling. Looks really good. Looks really good. So we're one step closer. <laughs> to get her finished um yeah it's a it's a big bay still walking still walking <laughs> that's pretty awesome looks like a football stadium yeah matter of fact for basketball i guess is more realistic yeah all right well when they get back uh we're gonna start on the back side i got the uh, gravel all compacted this morning for them finished out we did drive across it and out and back here so we'll get going on the uh soffits and all that stuff um and get that rolling and uh, they'll bubble wrap this backside get the trim on all that stuff and i think we're going to start putting metal on the backside so uh good day um it's getting exciting i'm glad to see the metal i'm glad to see the metal going on the outside that's really cool so i'm glad the ceiling's in too so i'm not i'm, I'm glad about everything i guess at this point um concrete guy did he was supposed to come they're supposed to form up yesterday uh he hasn't showed up uh they can well they did show up and take the uh the um trial uh out of here um so hopefully they plan on coming back soon and uh getting the next part of this done uh, we'll see but uh yeah that's kind of where we're at again hopefully i can get uh get him back over here and we get going on that the gutter quote supposed to be in haven't seen it yet but it's supposed to be in now so uh hopefully that comes in good and we'll get the uh gutter guy in business as soon as they get around that side back door uh we get the side done and they come around this back side uh i'll work on and get that door wrapped i'll get that uh garage door guy in here to get this door installed anyway so at least i'll have a back door on here because this door is in so all right well that's your update for now we'll see what we get done this afternoon um yeah what a good day what a good day
Good morning, YouTube. Hey, it's going to be a great day. It's early in the morning, but it's warm. Actually, I'm not even wearing my other my coat out on the outside, so that's going to be great. Um, that's always better for speed, right? Um, I believe today we're going to continue on this backside. I think we have the whole crew. Uh, Jared's truck caught on fire last night. I'll show you a little video clip of that, so I'm not sure what that's going to mean today, but um, you and my niece were sitting in the living room, and uh, they heard a noise. And they looked out the window, and this was happening. Turn on. Turn on. Well. And I'll try to drive down there and show you what it looks like now. If they haven't towed it away already. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. He had a wheel bearing issue during the day, and the battery had died that, that, the, that morning, which was yesterday. Um, so I have no idea if it was electrical fire or what, what was going on. He thought he left the key on. That's why the battery died, but I haven't done it. There was more to it than that. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, he, well, I know he has other trucks and stuff, but, um, yeah, hopefully they get that figured out. That's a, that's a bad deal for them. All right. Um, so yeah, better we're back at this, uh, already had, I think, uh, Scotty's already sitting down there in his truck. Oh, and here comes a uh, tree. So tree is in. I don't know if Josh rode with tree this morning or not, but uh, we'll be working on this back wall, getting the metal on it. Well, we get the soffit and metal, and I don't know if they're going to come down this wall, but they also got to get that front closed in. Uh, I think we got uh, tornado winds, or tornado-like winds, supposedly, on possibly Saturday or Sunday. So we'll see what that entails. So there's Jared in his truck this morning. Uh, yeah, look what I just found, though. You got the key? Got the key. Excellent. <laughs> Still hot. Sorry about you. Sorry. Yeah. Golly. Hey, cigarette lighter. They're just some pennies and a quarter. Uh, that's where I found this. I unearthed my uh, water box. The truck. The other side of the truck. Oh. You got another truck. Yeah. Golly. Yeah, 